What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. What's up everybody, this your host Spectacular Smith and today I want to get into uplifting the people around you and really breaking down what that means and really bringing out the full potential in people. A lot of times people lean on the negative or they try to get a reaction out of somebody or they want them to do something and they're taking a wrong approach. It's a saying that give a dog a bad name and you might as well hang them, but give them a good name and see what happens. So what that basically means is when you talk down on somebody and you're being super negative to that person, it doesn't work. It's the reverse effect. So you need to have that positivity. You need to be positive when you're trying to get somebody to do what you want them to do. So for example, let's say you want your husband to clean your car. You don't say, hey, every time I go outside, my car be dirty. You don't try to clean it, man. When you going to clean my car? Like, you know, a real man clean cars. Like, that ain't going to do nothing for you. But if you say, you know, oh, I love, you know, I love the fact that you always trying for me and things that you do. I really appreciate it and things like that. The time you clean my car, you know, it really did make me feel good. Or People receive messages in different ways. You know, sometimes you might have to hear it from different people. And everybody have a different delivery. But when that one person said it to you, it clicked to you. It's the same way, you know, with delivering. But the ultimate reason and why I'm saying this is to be positive, be uplifted. It's the approach that makes somebody wants to do something for you. But if you make them feel stupid, if you make them feel dumb or you make them feel like they don't have no gift for it, it just don't work out for you. You can't make it like they're wrong and just destroy their confidence. You can't do that because then you destroy every incentive for them to improve in that thing that you want them to do. OK, so one of the ways to stop that is, is basically give them a reputation to live up to. Say, for instance, if I was a school teacher, right, I was in college and I know for sure that this one student is super duper duper amazing, but he has a actual attitude problem or he's a class clown so if I was the teacher and this actual student came in class I'll address it immediately right and I'll say hey I know you're the super smart I heard some great things about you and I know for sure that you're a great leader and the way that you're actually going to help me lead the rest of these students and use your brain and your mindset to help the rest of these students actually succeed because you are a leader and I know that you have the ability to help me get these kids up to where they need to be because I, I believe in you. Just actually having that person have that type of reputation, they're going to live up to it because they do not want to let you down. Right. Just because you believe in them and that they're a leader, they're going to actually come in and help you lead because this is the reputation you just gave them. So this goes with everything. This goes for employees, your spouse, your kids, you know, whoever. This is all things that actually help a person want to improve because no matter if you come at them with negativity, then they're more likely just to be negative or feel like they're not able to do it or they just tap into being that negative person or that class clown or whatever. And the example that I just gave you. So this would be very, very great for you because once you give a person hope, you give them a chance to improve. They want to improve because now they have this reputation. They have this standard. They have this bar that they got to live up to. So when you when you lean in with encouragement and you let the people know that you have faith in them and then go from great to world class, then they're able to focus on that. You make it seem easy to do so you don't have to really stay on top of them with it and, and make sure that they're doing the things that they need to do to get better. You don't have to do that. They're going to do it by themselves because you basically letting them know, like, listen, I believe in you. I believe that you can do the things that you want to do. Like this skill, like you got this. This is nothing that you can't do. This is easy for you to do. I can see you doing it. All you got to do is put a few hours of time in to it then that person would just practice 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 like it's no tomorrow and before you know it when nobody's looking and when the cameras are off 
they're going crazy and perfecting their craft because now you gave them this standard to live up to. All right. And this reputation. So once you give them that, they're able to take things above and beyond, not only for you, but for themselves also, you know, and really approaching things the right way. Like another example, if you wanted something done and instead of you, you know, if you came to the office and somebody is late all the time when they're coming to your office and instead of you just like, yo, you know what? You always late. You know, I don't appreciate that. You need to be on time. You say, hey, you know, I think that everybody looks up to you, everything that you're doing here in this office. And when you're on time, you know, you really set an example for everybody else. And by you being a person that everybody looks up to in here, when you're on time, like it helps out everybody become more proactive and and it starts the day off right when they're just coming super early and you help push them, you know, and you set an example for everybody else. So by you saying that to that person, now they're going to feel like, damn, I can't let down my team. I can't let down, you know, the boss. I can't let down myself. I need to be early because people are depending on me. So that's going to actually push that person to actually become, you know, more diligent with their time and actually come into work, you know, spot on the money because people are counting on them. So just lean more in with positivity. And if you want somebody to actually do something in the world, you want to make sure you're encouraging them. When you actually be negative and you're talking down on them, it's actually the reverse effect. People push away from that. But when you believe in them and you tell them that it's possible and you're giving them praise for the things that they're doing right, you're letting them know that you can do anything, right? And this skill set that you're trying to build on, you're going to build on it. And it's going to happen no matter if you believe it's true or not, just to encourage them and let them understand. Because mentally, once they tap into that mentally, they're able to get where they need to go. But already, if they feel like they're not able to do it, then they're not going to do it. They're just going to give up like, hey, I can't do it. Like you already told me I can't do it. But when you give them that hope, then they're able to have something to push for. They got something to aim for. And they're able to hit that target sooner or later because you believed in them, which in return made them believe in themselves. So it had them uh, go that extra mile on making it happen and perfecting their craft. All right. So that's what it's about. I really want to get everybody into it. So everybody, your team, you know, people that surround you, your parents, your kids, your spouse, Anything that you want them to do, put praise behind it, put encouragement behind it and figure out ways that you can connect with them on a positive level. So now you can push them and bring the best out of them. All right. So make sure you guys subscribe to this podcast. If you didn't, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you go out and encourage somebody and uplift somebody and really bring the full potential out that person. So now they become the great person that they should be and that they need to be and take them to the next level. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you rate me and make sure you give me your feedback. I love you guys. I'm out. Spectacular. Mm.